Hello and welcome to a brand new adventure map. I'm here with Dan, standing in the corner. Hello. Flint Steel. I don't think I don't know if that's part of the map. Um, it we're playing... came with the map. Really, I, I totally agree. I totally believe you did. Um, this this is called the Stanley Parable. Basically, it, it's based on the mod slash game of the same name. God damn it, man! And um, it's narrative driven game. Um, it's pretty cool. Supposedly Andre, designed I can't by Dave. Concentrate to Re what you're saying because I'm too busy listening to the beautiful flames. Listening to them. Yeah. The hissing okay, of them. Now, hissing now, them now right, I'll cool. concentrate. Okay, right, what are nice you saying? I'll, this, I'll crouch. Here we go. I'm listening. This is basically a Minecraft adaptation of the Stanley Parable. Um, it's going to use the same, I think it's used the same narrative of the game, I assume. Um, whether it's a new narrative or not, I don't know. Um, but uh, yeah, it's. Uh, it's, and it's it's, made it seems by pretty this cool. Guy, original David, modern game David by David Redder. Redder. No, that's that, that's the original modern game. The actual, oh, it's the actual made game. By, it's made by this guy, Kevin Brighton. No, no, no that, that that that's a narrator, dude. That, that, that's oh, narrator. it's made by this guy. Half, half crited Dilber, Dilbert Wally. Dildo. <laughs> yes. Half crafted dildo. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry. You probably just offended maker. everyone. <laughs> yeah, I've just offended the map maker. Oh I'm my really word. Sorry. Okay, yeah, let's let's this read is, this, this stuff. This is in dedication for let's you. Let's read this there stuff. Sunny Parable Minecraft Edition. Hello, I'm finally going to download and blah blah blah. Uh, read read the rules. Uh, I don't know why much in time and blah blah blah. And please still the resource pack. We have the resource pack on. That's pretty cool. Comes with resource packs. But that hundred megabyte resource pack. It's pretty cool. Um. Yeah, vital to the game. Blah, blah. Obviously, you're gonna, don't rush the map. That's all cool. Don't break the map. Oh, I don't know if that, I can't. I can't promise anything there. Um, do not exit a room you've already entered unless asked to. Oh, okay. So we have to just don't piss around. In a... <laughs> right. Don't piss around. God damn it! We got to do what he says. We have to do what he These says. These signs say never played the original Stanley Parable? Question <gasps> mark. You should. It's an amazing narrative-driven game designed by Davy <laughs> Redden. Originally a mod, it became a fully purchasable game and is now available on Steam. What an advert. What an advert. I highly recommend you taking a look at it before or after you experience this map. Thanks. Half crafted dildo. Heart, or is that, or is that balls? It might, it might be balls. It might. It's be. like balls with the half crafted dildo end. That's what it is. I'm not sure. Let's go. Right. Let's start the map, shall we? Sh shall we push the button? <laughs> shall you start the map? This is the story of a man <gasps> named Stanley. Ooh, I just Stanley see your worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number four two seven. Employee number four two seven's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427, and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Buttons? Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul renting, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in. As though Sounds he had fun. been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. That's Why can't I say freaking anything? cool. <laughs> That's so and cool. One day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. Where are my orders? No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Hi, Never Dad. in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable <laughs> to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk <gasps> and stepped out of his office. I stepped out of the office. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room to check on his co-workers. He never functioned well by himself and constantly needed support and guidance from others. So the thought of total solitude was terrifying to him. Um, I'm a bit confused. Why is there a man speaking in my head? I, I, I'm not sure either. I mean, I, I guess we just do what he says, right? I mean... My sweet word from 
I, yeah, I'm, I, I love how we're not meant to destroy the map. It's like the first room. We've already done it. Well, you did that. <laughs> no, it wasn't me. me. It was just a violence thing, okay? You did it. <laughs> okay, we're just walking around. Yeah, we're just, we're just, we're just going along, going, going through here. We've got to try Ooh, and find Oh, this looks nice. Oh, this is pretty. Right, what way? Do, oh, we got to go through I guess, here. I guess we just follow the path which when is open. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. What if we open one, go in one each? No, let's go through the right one. Let's not do what he says. Okay, let's let's go again. This yeah. was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly <laughs> well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. <laughs> employee lounge. Um, wow. This is a pretty fancy employee lounge, isn't it? Damn. I guess we just go through this open door. Wait, we've got to think about this. We've got to look at this. Wow, what an amazing wow. room! I can't even Doesn't open. It... I can't even open a refrigerator. It looks Damn. nice. Can we go backwards? I guess so. I think we're not meant to, are we? Well, I do hear a weird noise down there. Maybe not. Yeah, seems a bit, a bit horrible. Right, let's go through here. Let's, then. let's keep. But continuing. eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Oh, did we miss it? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. <laughs> Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. My name isn't Stanley. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. Story. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Oh. Someone you've forgotten about. That's creepy. Please. Stop trying to make every decision by yourself. What? That's now, creepy. I'm not asking for me. <laughs> I'm asking What's in for there? Her. I got hurt. <laughs> no, I hit you. <laughs> oh god, that's really weird. Oh, Why my is word. it so black? Oh, Why that's the resource so pack. Oh my word, that's really weird. Let's run. I'm trying. Oh my god, it's so far away. <laughs> Are we meant to go this way? Yeah, there's a switch. Wait, 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 there's wait, a, there's a wait, switch. wait, 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 What the frick? Right, let's pull it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's her, Get Stanley. Out. You need to be the one to do this. Should to I reach out it? to her. If you can truly place your faith um, in another, then pick up the phone. Hang on a second. Maybe I'll leave answer it. it with, I'll answer it with my penis. Shall I answer it? Yeah, go on in. Oh, oh. What? Did you answer it? No. Oh, it just stopped ringing. Oh yes, well, I guess she hung up. Fuck it. I'll, I'll answer it. Here we go. Hello? Hello? D damn. Oh, Stanley, is that you? Yeah. Uh, hold on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. No, it's Dan. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. All right. Okay, nice. there we go. All right, now, I want you to come in and tell me all about your day. I'll come in, you. Oh, my word. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, come on. You like that on. joke, dude. You like that joke. Did you actually think you had a loving wife? Who want to commit their life to you? <laughs> I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. Come inside. Let me show you what's really going on here. Come inside. This is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. What? What? what are we press, gonna die? Press at to continue. Oh, maybe we push push the button. I don't know. Stanley is go. quite a oh. boring oh fellow. God, he has a job that chat. demands nothing of him. Oh, wow. And every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. Yeah, I pu push it. Look, push T and push it. Wow, really? Yeah. Look at him there, pushing <laughs> buttons, doing wow. exactly Jeez. what he's told to do. <laughs> now he's pushing a button. It's awesome. Now he's eating lunch. Now he's going home. Now, he's coming back to work. One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. That's so weird, isn't it? So, so I ate lunch, then I went home. But in his mind, ah, oh. in his mind he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown. Oh, I wish I could get to expeditions. Fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. And each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. Whoa, jeez. This is really weird. And so he there began to fantasize it. about his own job. First, he imagined that one day while at work, he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, 
everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face Where of the earth. Where have they all gone? Where have the they all gone? Excited him terribly. I'm just stuck with the guy called Dan. Where have they gone? <laughs> where? Where I say? Where I say? Where? Where I say? Each other. Yay! Okay, maybe. So, he went Ooh, further. Whoa. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. Something's going to happen on that wall. I just know it. Let's go for the next one. As he wandered through this fantasy world, he began to fill it with many possible paths and destinations. Down one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. Right. And down yeah. another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. And down another was a game with a baby. And he called it game with the a baby. Stanley Parable. A round room in Minecraft. <laughs> <laughs> It was such a wonderful fantasy, and so in his head, he relived it again, fantasy, and then again, yeah. and again, over and over, wishing beyond hope that it would never end, that he might always feel this free. Sounds like a madman. Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. Oh my word. I'm a bit confused. But there is no answer. Oh. How could there possibly be? In reality, all he's doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. Nothing has changed. The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets. The more he forgets which life is the real one. Oh, my word. And I'm trying to tell him this. That in this world, he can never oh, wow. be anything but an observer. The button. That as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. But he won't listen to me. No, he won't, I won't stop. I don't here, care. watch this. Stanley. The next time the screen asks you to push a button, <laughs> do not do it. Oh my god, we have to do it to continue. Lame. Freaking well, lame. What, what did he say? He said don't do it. Yeah, so don't, don't do push it. the button. But he knows that we're going to. Why? Because we have to do it to continue the map. <laughs> well, this is End a of the series. opportunity. This is a perfect opportunity to say, guys, we're not going to push it until you <laughs> click that like button. That's it. Do not <laughs> click that. Click the like button. Click it. <laughs> I'm Stanley Parable, and I'm telling you to click that. Do you think they've clicked it? Gonna gonna click the at. Gonna click have, the have at. Have they clicked no. the like button? Yet? No, I don't know. I I'm quite I'm quite sure it'll push the button itself. Like if when we they... can get more than a thousand likes <laughs> on every episode of this, that would be amazing. Oh my word. Yeah. I, I I'm quite sure the next stage will happen as soon as they as soon as we get enough likes. Yeah, as soon as we get enough likes, Shakira will wiggle her, wiggle her booty. <laughs> right, push it. Shall I push it? <clears throat> you see? Oh, look, see how tiny. Can happens. he just not hear me? <laughs> how can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? I'm scared. I'm scared too. Shall I push it? Yeah. I'm scared. I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose, the same as Stanley. We're not so different, I suppose. You're a jackass! I'll try Frickin once more asshole. to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Perhaps, well, maybe this time he'll see. Maybe this time. Oh, that, and I tried again. What, what, eh? And Stanley pushed a button. Please die. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tr what? Why am I dying? Whoa! H Hello? You died! You're gone! No, I'm in a black room. You just did, you, you got teleported away. Should I teleport to you? I think you should, yes. Okay, Although I Although there's nothing here. Unless you restarted the map. Right, so um, we kind of died there. <laughs> I don't know. I, I think that I actually think that's what was meant to happen. Um, I have a feeling that's what's meant to happen. We're kind of meant to die. This is the story oh, of God. a man named Stanley. We're, we'll cut to the uh, rooms. Right, we're finally back in this damn room. Should we go this side then, this instead? Should we take the left door? Let's take the left door, because we, we were asked to do. Ooh. Yet there was not a single person here either. Ah. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office 
hoping he might find an answer there. Ooh, so I guess okay, we go through this we door. we do what he says this time. Yeah, we go all the way through the story. Says, he got so angry Coming to a staircase, killer. Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Oh, we walk? let's walk down. It is tempting. It is tempting. Let's do it. <laughs> But Stanley just couldn't do it. <laughs> he considered the possibility of facing his boss. Admitting he had left his post during work hours, he might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. Exactly. And You're then crazy. something occurred to Stan. So crazy. Maybe, he thought oh, to himself, actually. maybe I am crazy. Oh. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a okay. single moment for no reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet? When he looked down, oh my God! The doors close automatically behind him wherever he went. They and for that close. matter, oh God, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply they repeating? Close that? No. No, Stanley said to himself, "This is all too strange. This can't be real." It can't At be last, real, Dad. He came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming! He yelled. This is I'm all a dreaming. dream. It's all a dream. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt <laughs> to have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, <laughs> I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real-life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm through. still lucid. So, he imagined himself flying. Whoa. And began to gently float above the ground. Oh, what the frick? Then he imagined himself soaring Whoa. through space on a magical star field. What? And oh it my too god! Appeared. It was so much fun, what? and Stanley marvelled that he had shit. still not woken up. Whoa, whoa! How was he remaining so lucid? Where whoa. are you? I'm, I've teleported to And then perhaps the room. strangest question of them yeah, all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed I'm he hadn't asked himself yeah, sooner. Yeah, I'm here, next to you. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Where the shiz are you? <laughs> and while he thought it all very odd and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself? Believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility no, for himself? Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that I'm this crazy. was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too, surely, surely, if he could just... He this would prove guy it. Talks a lot. He <laughs> would prove that he was in it is control. A story that this was a dream. So he closed Whoa. his eyes gently, my and eyes. he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin, the press of the mattress on his back, the fresh air of a world outside this one. The bosom I'm laying my head on. Let me wake <laughs> up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I'm through with it. I wish it to be over. I want it to be over. Let me go back to my job. I want to go back to that boring old job. Let me continue drop. pushing the buttons. I want to push buttons. Please. I'm in a black room. It's all I want. I want to push my I buttons. I want my apartment and my wife and my job. I want my imaginary all wife. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. Take me I back. Normal. It's totally normal. Can I Everything go back? Everything will be fine. Admit. I am okay. We're okay. I thought he was Way. I am... There we oh, go. I'm back here. Stanley here. began screaming. Please, ah! someone, wake me up. My name is Stanley. Wake I have me a boss. Up. I have an office. I, I am real. Please, wake can someone up. tell me I am real? I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? Oh, my God. And everything went black. Again. They love this room. Holy shiz. Hello? Hello. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. <laughs> what? Oh, this is my story then. <laughs> Mariella woke up on a day like any other. 
She arose, got dressed, go gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. Got boobs. But on this particular day, oh, her walk yeah. was interrupted by the down. body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, <laughs> and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. Oh my word. And although was she would soon Stanley? turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy. This yep. much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this. And in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career, and by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. My and then she turned and ran. You can't see them, dude. You can't see them. Staring down at the body, not the dead body. My sexy ass body. My sexy hey, if body. I'm chick, if I'm a chick with boobs, but, then wow. Damn, what do we do now? I guess we wait. I guess we wait. For what? Otherwise, it's just that's the Stanley's dead again. And is that it? <laughs> right now we can head now up. we can head up. Right, let's go slowly. So let's let, let's, let, let's do up. Do what he says. Maybe he won't hear us if we creep. Okay, this corridor's too long. Let's run. Let's run. <laughs> Are we allowed Whoa. to run? Yeah, I think so. And I think it said we could only walk. Switches. Everyone likes switches. Stepping into his manager's office, Ooh. Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, <gasps> unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from Stunning. him? Stunning. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. Oh my gosh. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Two, eight, four, five. Two, eight, but four, of course, five. Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Do we just type 2845 and then done? Yeah, there's a button on it, look. Must be OP player in creative mode. Shall I push it? Yet incredibly, by simply pushing go. random buttons oh. on the keypad, Stanley happened to input oh, the right, correct go, yeah. code by sheer luck. Was there a button Amazing. there? Amazing. He yeah. stepped into oh, right. the newly opened passageway. There's a passage. Oh my god! Where? Oh my god, yeah! What the frick? It's really cool. I tell you what, let, quick, stop a second. Rock, paper, scissors, ready? Okay. Three, two, one, go. What did you pick? Scissors. I rock. Oh, you beat me. Oh, I beat you. Ha, sucker. God damn it. Right, should we go in the elevator? <laughs> That's so random. Right, we need elevator music. I'll sing it. Descending deeper into oh, the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. I feel peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest. Emotion. As he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. I question Why my job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? Why not? Why this, this? question would not go unanswered for long. Oh, it's it. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. I didn't You're get outside the elevator. I didn't get teleported yet. You're, you're, I'm in. I'm in the elevator still, so. Come in, come in to me. Try to teleport to you. There we go. There we go. This is probably meant to be single player. Yeah, but yeah, we're, yeah. We're awesome, so we we'll, do we'll, double player. We'll get, we'll get by. It's all good. Ooh, oh, my gosh, what really. What the shiz is there? I guess we can what only go this say? way. Mind control, control facility? facility? Oh, my word. It all makes sense. Shall I push it? Yes. The lights rose on an enormous Whoa. room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Whoa. Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? I don't have the strength. I don't have the strength. Let's, let's just let's jump back. Let's, let's just end kill this ourselves. Series. Let's end the <laughs> series. I don't have the I strength. I can't even kill myself. Stanley, oh, no. I don't have the strength. Oh, fine. I've got the strength. <laughs> oh, we can keep moving on. Oh, look, there's more lighting up. Look, look. Oh, wow. That's really cool. Are they television screens? It's the television screens. That's really cool. Oh, wow. <coughs> Damn. 
This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? Oh, that his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? I feel so violated. Why? No. <laughs> he refused to believe it. No. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? I must kill Never. Myself. It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Oh, look, Had he truly out? spent oh, his entire now. life utterly Stop blind to the heart. world? I'm sorry, hey, is it Annabelle? Jeez. <laughs> is, is it Annabelle? Like, I have a face, you know. I'm yeah, my sorry. Annabelle. I have a face, you know. Proof. <laughs> the heart of the operation. Controls oh, labelled with emotions. Oh, yeah. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it Bring monitored and commanded oh, from this very place. And as the cold Happy reality sad. of his past began to sink angry. in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he Ooh. would dismantle the controls once and for How all. How did you get up there? <laughs> I, I did jump. a backflip. Oh, wow. You guys should jump into that. Right, should we push number one? Yes. Why not? All right. Eating, walking. What did it light up? Two. Should we go one, two, three? There's a two here. And there's a three down there. And there's a four here. That's a five there. Where's a four? Where is four? Are we just pressing them all? Right. I guess we head down here and push this then. Oh, yeah, I, th I think they didn't do anything. Oh. Oh. Loads of buttons and stuff. What's what's down here? Zero. Oh, there's a zero oh, there. What's this? A four. There's four. Why don't you have to press them in, in order? In here, look. Need it says input. need input. Shall I put it on? Okay. Oh, oh Stanley. You didn't just activate the controls, did you? God oh, damn it. After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that oh, what shit. you wanted? <laughs> control? <laughs> no. Oh, Stanley, <laughs> I applaud your effort, I really do. You right. But you need to understand, <laughs> there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go. We can't turn it off. Turn Look, the controls no off there and was. leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm, sorry. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, uh -oh. Stanley suddenly realized no. he had just initiated no. the network's emergency detonation wait. system. Wait, wait. No. In the event that this Dude. machine is activated without Run. proper DNA Run. identification, oh, no, that's, nuclear detonators that's cheating. are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. That's cheating. How long until detonation then? Mm, let's say... Oh, um, no. Two I'm minutes. Two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's no. your time to shine. You are the star. Shit. It's your story now. Oh, my word. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. Push what it. a shame okay. we have so little time left to enjoy it. Let's go from zero to, to zero Mere to five. moments until the bomb goes off.